Spike Jones in Charlie Kaufman's film uh, Being John Malkovich is a wonderful film full of uh, fresh, original images, very non-cliched images. And the film's controlling central metaphor is the idea of the puppet. And the puppet is a sort of survival or a link back to uh, the Italian puppetry and the Commedia dell'arte and that whole wonderful world of carnival culture that Mikhail Bakhtin wrote about in his book on Rabelais, in which he talks about how this, the central um, image of the body in carnival culture is this idea that the body uh, is essentially incomplete, it's open. Um, whereas the classical idea of the body, the mainstream idea of the body, is something closed, something finished and completed. And this idea of the body is something that is an open system, uh, is this idea that it's constantly spawning and budding and giving rise to new forms. And so in carnival culture, the body is linked with the earth and with the body and the lower bodily stratum of the genitals and defecation and eating and all these things that have to do with the body as a process, as a metabolic process that is moving through time and spawning and generating new forms. And uh, in this film, Malkovich himself uh, will become a sort of laboratory within which uh, these characters will perform an experiment uh, of consciousness. And um, the film works on a number of levels simultaneously. You have a level that deals sort of with reincarnation, but you also have the level that deals with the cult and culture of the celebrity and the effects that moving through electronic culture has on the, on the psyche, the splintering uh, effects that it has. Here we see, uh, as Craig, uh, the puppeteer, uh, he hasn't been able to find work as a puppeteer, so he goes to work in this office building, uh, Lester Corp. And here the, uh, it's the seven and a half floor, and the ceiling is lower, and it makes everybody look like a giant. And it kind of retrieves the Alice in Wonderland, the opening image in Alice in Wonderland, where Alice, after she has taken the pill, grows up to a giant size, and she is completely spatially disproportionate with the surrounding spaces around her, because in... Uh, in electric culture, what electric culture does is it uh, retrieves the early spatial configuration of the pre-perspectival, pre-Renaissance feeling for space, in which space is a, a kind of haptic, tactile function. The sense of touch is discontinuous. And in that spatial world, and that, that spatial world, by the way, is also the same spatial world as tribal man, in which uh, magical objects are created, uh, staffs and batons and carved objects, and each object occupies its own space separately and independently from each other object. So uh, Alice in Wonderland, uh, with a spatial disproportionality, retrieves this early pre-Renaissance, pre-perspectival, archaic idea of each object existing in its own space, carving out its own space. And electronic culture generally uh, goes back and retrieves this. Um, now here we have the image of um, Craig discovers this portal in his office, and the portal uh, is a portal that leads into the mind of the actor John Malkovich. And um, at first here, the image uh, once again links back to Alice in Wonderland. And then as he goes into the portal, uh, he goes through a tunnel, uh, a rather vaginal opening, as though we were going uh, back into the tribal world. And here, the modern tribal world is a world composed of celebrities who have become totems uh, that generate their own tribes. Um, here, the, the, the film plays around with the idea uh, that as people can become Malkovich and look out through his eyes, uh, the film plays around with the idea that celebrities are really masks that the public puts on in order to experience a fantasy world, a, a sort of capitalistic, uh, fantasial, phantasmatic world uh, of leisure and play and wealth and opulence and money. And it's a world that's totally at odds with the banal, drab, nine-to-five uh, grind of the office world. And it's a world that uh, is tabloid culture in which the celebrity becomes the central fetish or tribal totem uh, and his, the, the tabloid becomes the, essentially the gospel that is partaken of by all the worshippers and adherents. And um, here uh, he comes out of Malkovich because you can, you can only spend 15 minutes inside of Malkovich for some bizarre uh, reason that is unexplained. And the film leaves a lot of things unexplained, like, for example, why John Malkovich uh, specifically. And that leaving uh, these things unexplained is part of the success of the film because it leaves room for ambiguity and for the viewer's own interpretations. Now here Craig's wife Lottie goes in through the portal to become Malkovich and she has the contrasexual experience of being a man and it completely destabilizes her psyche. And so all these people are trying to experience the life uh, of the celebrity and each one is projecting their own world into the celebrity and the celebrity acts as a kind of mirror. 
the celebrity puts on the public as a mask, just as the public puts on the celebrity as a mask. And there's a kind of mutual puppet play at work between the celebrity and, and, the, and the public. In many ways, uh, the celebrity in our culture is a puppet, and uh, the public is the puppeteer operating him. Um, and here uh, Lottie has discovered that <clears throat> there is a sort of uh, Malkovich cult <clears throat> operating. Uh, the, the owner of Lester Corps uh, has been tracking Malkovich's life and career for many years uh, because he's planning an exodus to transmigrate inside of Malkovich's body so that he will become immortal. Now here, <clears throat> this is an interesting scene because Malkovich has gone through the portal himself and he is experiencing the human equivalent of taking a video camera and turning it back at its own monitor so that you see image, uh, an image within an image within an image repeated to infinity and essentially the film is, is making the statement that the celebrity who descends into electronic culture and has his image multiplied a thousandfold is essentially a, an equivalent of resonance of electronic feedback and that human feedback effect um, is very can be very confusing to uh, to the celebrity. It can disorient the psyche and cause all kinds of problems. Um, the famous sort of you know archetypal death scenario of the Elvis Presley or the Marilyn Monroe or the James Dean is all a function of the the confusion and destabilization of the psyche that results from accelerating the self to light speed and producing uh, thousandfold images of oneself uh, at the speed of light. Now here Craig has uh, finally achieved complete control of the Malkovich puppet, as it were, and so we have this wonderful play of the, of the, um, the soul is in relation to the body as the puppeteer is in relation to the puppet. And this little Malkovich cult of elderly people is all planning to transmigrate into Malkovich on his 44th birthday at midnight. Uh, but Craig, meanwhile, is living his life as a puppeteer, riding uh, vicariously on Malkovich's fame. He uses Malkovich as a vehicle. Uh, for his fame. Then they get uh, Craig to leave and then everyone begins this exodus, this sort of uh, transmigration inside of Malkovich where they all become um, <clears throat> sort of autonomous complexes as it were, to use a Jungian phrase, inside the subconscious of Malkovich. And uh, this is uh, the end of the film where Malkovich re reveals to Charlie Sheen that uh, there's another vessel, Emily, uh, his daughter, that will become the next vessel for transmigration. But we find out at the end that Craig's already in there.